Hello YouTube, welcome to Happy Hour. Today we're gonna make an American Whiskey Infinity Bottle. Hello everybody and welcome to Happy Hour. So today, uh, unlike most of my videos, or I guess all of my videos, where I'm tasting a whiskey and trying to get some notes to you guys and some ideas of maybe whether you might like to buy it or, or whatnot, uh, I'm gonna do something totally different and I'm gonna create an infinity bottle. So I've seen this on the internet. So I read a couple of articles and I've seen a couple of other YouTubers uh, uh, create their infinity bottles and it kind of got my kind of got my juices flowing. I thought it would be, be a lot of fun to do myself. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna make an American whiskey infinity bottle or at least start an infinity bottle. You can see the, <laughs> the small collection that I'm gonna start with. So an infinity bottle is kind of a cool idea. I made this bottle myself. Well, I made didn't make the bottle, but I made the label. I bought a bottle off of uh, off of Amazon. Uh, it's got a uh, it's got a cork with it, a synthetic cork, which is great. So hopefully it'll last a little bit longer. Because um, you know the idea of the infinity bottle is for it to kind of last and keep it around your cupboard for hey, years, decades, ideally if possible. But the whole idea of the, of the infinity bottle is. Um, to add whiskeys that you like and kind of just make your own amalgamation or your own mix. Um, there's a lot of kind of different nuances I've seen of, of how people kind of do their own infinity bottles. I've seen some where it's literally just the dregs of any type of whiskey or anything they got left over and just make a kind of a crazy uh, Hawaiian punch or, or dumpster dumpster bottle of everything. Um, and I've seen some people that get really quite refined and and you know add very specific measurements of, of just scotches or even just highlands or just you know a certain certain weeded or certain weeded bourbons or certain amounts of rye and um, you know you can get as anal or as specific or as winged as you possibly want to because yeah day it's your whiskey right do whatever you want to do with it but um, I kind of like the idea of something in between I'm gonna make a, a scotch or scotch and an Irish probably mostly scotch infinity bottle as well but I figured I'd start with an American whiskey I've got a pretty a pretty okay selection of bourbons. All of these, at least, I like a lot. So I figured, uh, you know, why not put the best of what I like into a bottle and see over time uh, what we end up coming up with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of treat this infinity bottle. I'm gonna start with a bit of a base here. I know a lot of people, kind of the one of the more standard ways was you just start kind of when your bottle, a bottle that you really enjoyed gets down to like the last, last pour maybe or last half a pour that instead of you know finishing it off, you would dump it into this infinity bottle. So over time, as you you know start finishing bottles off, your bottle starts to grow. And again, the cool part about that is you're always gonna have, there's always gonna be a little bit of that original whiskey in there. Obviously it's gonna slowly dilute over time, but there's always that, you know, there's always that memory of, of that bottle that you had years ago if you just, you know, of, of it still being in there. So it's kind of a cool idea. So I'm gonna start with the base and then the idea being when I get to kind of a bottom of a bottle that I that I really enjoyed, I'm gonna add a couple ounces in there and, and keep it going. I'm gonna, uh, I'm also gonna keep notes. I think it's kind of a cool idea as well just to see where it started and where it kind of ended. I'm not gonna get too specific, I think moving forward on measurements. Uh, I'm gonna start off with kind of some basic measurements, you know, maybe two ounces, four ounces of whatever I have here. And then um, the cool part is again, kind of write it down in your notebook. So you can kind of keep a little bit of a chart and over time, maybe if you're lucky and you keep it going, you get pages and pages and pages of all these amazing whiskeys that you've tried over the years, all in one cool special occasion bottle. Um, the other thing is you take some out, ideally put some back in. So this isn't something you probably want to finish off on a night <laughs> and start have to start all over again. Um, but you know, maybe as a special treat, you, you have, uh, you take a pour or two out of it and then you put a pour or two of something else back in and, and keep a note and see where it goes. So. So that was a real fun idea, and I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start mine today with these cast of characters. So I'm gonna pause for a second, and uh, I'm gonna start pouring these in and see where we go. All right, so we're gonna start with uh, with these guys right here. I'm gonna, like I said, create my base. I've got Russell's Reserve, uh, Michter's Bourbon. I got the kind of the standard Elijah Craig um, Bourbon. I've got the small 1792 small batch. I've got the Four Roses small batch. Angel Envy. That's Russell's Reserve, what was this? Oh yeah, Rare Breed, Wild Turkey Rare Breed, which I really, really dig. Uh, uh, Knob Creek, uh, Store Pick 120, Single Barrel Select Bourbon. That's that's a nice one too. This bottle that I found at uh, Benny's, it's a Store Pick too. It's Redemption 
Redemption High Rye Bourbon. I've really enjoyed this stuff. This is a 36% rye. I'm not a huge rye fan, but this stuff, I really, really liked it. It's, it's strong, it's, it's 105 proof and a uh, store pick. So I'm looking forward to putting a little bit of this in there. And just to add a little bit more rye, we're gonna add a little bit of Old Forester rye in there. Not much, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna pour them all in there and then I'll come back and give you the measurements of what I at least started with. And, uh, and we'll go from there. All right, so we got them all poured. So I've got actually, it's come along pretty, uh, pretty good already. <laughs> so what I did was I took the notes like I said I would and wrote down what I added in here. So basically I started with the Four Roses small batch as kind of a little bit of a base. I started with six ounces of the Four Roses small batch. I added four ounces of the 1792 and then pretty much just two ounces of, of everything else that I've got on here. So the Elijah Craig, Michter's Bourbon, Russell's, Angel's Envy, Rare Breed, Knob Creek Single Barrel, MGP, well, Redemption, High Rye, and the Old Forester. So two ounces of everything else. So so yeah, I think this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna, uh, I'm not gonna taste it right now. I wanna kinda let it, let it mingle and uh, kinda get together. We'll pop the synthetic cork on. <clears throat> There we go. That's, uh, I made the cool label. Croft Whiskey. Small batch. That's not a small batch, but <laughs> special infinity bottling. So you can stick a label on there. Make it your little special occasion. You got a friend come over, you can taste, uh, you can taste your own infinity bottling, your own mixing, your own blending skills. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a few days and then I'll probably do another little video on, uh, on tasting it. See what it turns out. Hopefully it doesn't turn out like a pile of crap, but I doubt it. I think you stick to you stick to some pretty good, pretty good whiskeys and some flavors that you that you like. I don't know that you can really go wrong. So, so that's fun. I'm gonna do a Scotch one as well. Like I said, I've already got the bottle for that. I got an ice decanter. Um, so stay tuned. If you like this, click like, click subscribe if you like as well, and uh, stick around. We'll do some more fun videos. See ya.